Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and I'm so excited to work out with you guys today. For today's workout, you have options. It's a hybrid workout. That means you can make it more intense if you want, or you can keep it low impact, which I'm going to be demonstrating today. So this is a low impact interval training workout. I am going to be doing marching in place during the cardio burst. So the way it's gonna work, we're setting our timer for 15 rounds, 30 seconds of cardio, 50 seconds maximum repetitions for each exercise. During the cardio burst, I'm going to march in place. So that's just gonna be like this. Belly stays pulled in, knees go high, so we're still working the core. Arms are gonna move, move at a fast enough pace that your heart rate gets up. Hopefully you're breathing a little bit heavy. If you want to make it a more high intensity workout, you have options. You can do high knees, running in place, jumping jacks, jump rope, or even burpees if you're feeling super feisty. If you do the burpees, let me know because I want to give you big kudos in the comments, okay guys? Um, so without further ado, you need no equipment for this workout. One round will take 20 minutes. Uh, grab some water and if you're up to repeating the workout, you can do that to make it more intense. We're gonna get in a really great full body workout today. Okay guys, are you ready? Let's hit play on our handy dandy timer here. Make sure our volume's up so you guys can hear it. So we have five seconds, we're gonna start our cardio. You do your cardio of choice. Belly's gonna pull in no matter what that cardio is. Low impact, marching. Remember, low impact does not mean it's not effective. It's very effective. Just lower impact on the joints. Good job, guys. Doing great, just keep that body moving. Okay, we're gonna go into a warrior stretch heel lift. So we're gonna start in a warrior two, arms reaching. Heel is gonna lift onto the toes, drop it. We're gonna reach back, looking up toward your elbow or hand. Bring it back, lift and sink into that thigh a little bit. Feel the stretch. Good job guys, keep moving. We're doing all one side. That means we will do the other side after our next cardio burst. Doing great guys. And cardio. Belly pulled in if it isn't already. And we're gonna do the same exercise in the other direction, so other leg. Let's get those knees a little higher if you can. Maybe even push the pace a little bit. Okay, other way, same thing. So find that warrior, lift the heel, stretch it back. job guys sink into it doing great good job guys keep moving less than 15 seconds left of this one stretch it back March or whatever your cardio is. We're gonna have super girl push ups next. So we're gonna go down on the mat. If you need to do your push ups on your knees, that's fine. You are going to push up, come into hands and knees. Opposite arm and leg. Push up. Reach. Don't want to knock over my water bottle. Breathe. 
breathe through it. Doing great, less than 15 seconds left. Max reps, core strong. Okay, cardio burst. Whew. Quick transitions. Good job, we're gonna be back on the mat. Side plank squeezes next. Good job, guys. I'm going to demo. Keep marching. So side plank. Whoop. Hold this if that's enough. Otherwise, you're going to squeeze elbow to knee. And you could also do this on the forearm if the extended arm is too much for you. Find that balance. Squeeze. Keep the hips and shoulders stacked. Good job, guys. Side plank variations are really hard. So if you're just building up and you need to hold that side plank, that's perfect. That's how you get stronger for the more advanced variations. Whoop. <laughs> Good timing for me to fall over. March in place, and then we'll do the other side. Knees were smacking. Doing great, guys. Hopefully you're still feeling good. Whole body's nice and warm. Okay, side plank squeeze, other side. You can also stagger your feet, but we're gonna add that lift, so there we go. Press that heel like you can press it into the wall down there. Good job, guys. Really working this area here on both sides of the body. We're getting there, guys. And cardio. Quick transitions. Okay, so we're going to have a kneeling warrior next. I'll keep marching with you. I'm going to start early, though, to demonstrate, so keep marching. Kneeling warrior. Keep going, guys. We're going to come into a kneeling position. So your knee's just barely touching. We're going to lift, pressing through that leg. Stretch it, warrior three. Control your return. Good job, guys. Push through that standing front leg. It's this heel where you're getting the power for the lift. Good job, keep going. Feel that back of the thigh activating as you press up into the warrior three. Last few seconds, you've got this. In March, or whatever your cardio is. Shake it out if you need to. <laughs> Same thing on the other side. Belly in if it's not already. Knees high. Good job. 
Okay, other direction. Find that balance. Push through that heel. So you're not pushing from that back leg, pushing from the front one. Weight shift. There you go, guys. Good job. Let's actively engage your back leg if you weren't already. So when you do that, that means press that back heel toward the wall behind you. Good job, guys. March. We're gonna kneel on all fours next for hydrant. Good job, guys. Okay, keep going. Classy move here. <laughs> we're gonna pretend we're dogs peeing on a hydrant. <laughs> Squeeze. Keep that 90 degree bend of the knee. Hip coming up, or a thigh coming parallel to the floor. And feel that squeeze right here. You can go faster if you want, but always hold for at least a beat at that top motion of the squeeze. Focusing on those outer glutes and outer thighs. Really get the squeeze in there. Belly still pulled in. Squeeze. Last two seconds. March and then other side. So you'll notice during this workout, we're working in all planes of motion. So for example, our lower body, we're worked in a forward, backward motion, side to side, and a hip rotation. So we're hitting the muscles from every angle to maximize the muscles we're using. Okay, other side, same thing, belly pulls in, squeeze. Hands below your shoulders, squeeze. Bring that thigh at least parallel to the floor. Good job, guys. Hopefully feeling it, maybe feeling it in your other glutes since we just worked it. Get in there, guys. Push through. Good job. March. Okay, we're going to have a hydrant heel press next. So we're starting in the same position that we were just in. We're in. I have to really remind myself to get those knees driving high. Okay, guys, so same position, keep going. We're gonna bring it here, press it back, pressing that heel toward the wall behind you. Bring it in, like you could touch your elbow. Press it back, core strong. Press. Press. Pretend you can touch your heel to that wall back there. Should be really feeling the glutes right now. If you're ever ready to amp up the volume on this move, you can add a resistance band. Always thinking ahead to how we can progress our workouts and progress our strength. So same thing to the other side next. Good 
Good job, guys. Picking up the pace a little and then going to the other side. Here we go. Belly strong. Press that heel like you could touch that wall. Lift and squeeze. Breathe through it too. Don't hold your breath. Sometimes when you start to feel the burn, that can be a tendency. Good job, guys. And march. Plank crunches next. We're gonna get into a little more of a core focus section. So we just did a lot of tush and thigh movements. Good job, guys. Keep marching. Plank and crunch. I'm gonna put my feet off the mat so it doesn't get crunched up underneath me. Start in plank. You're gonna rotate your feet to one side. Butt presses toward your heels. Look toward your butt. Center. Rotate your feet to the other side. So feet are about hip distance apart. Really great movement for the core. Press it forward. Make it more powerful if you want, like this. Or go super slow and controlled through the motion. Doing great, guys. And march. Next, we're going to be down on the mat for a Hip tip heel press. I'll show you what that means. Okay, guys, keep marching. I'm gonna demo. Knees are gonna bend to 90. Arms can stay down, head can stay down or lift. We're gonna keep that 90 degree position. Tilt the hips, so lift them off the mat. Then drop the heels low, stretch it out. Bring it back in up to 90. Hip tip, heel press. Hip tip. Heel press, so not using momentum, using those low abs, deep ab muscles, or that hip dip. Heel press, belly pulls in the whole time. Good job, guys. Keep breathing through it. Pull that belly in toward the floor. Good job. Cardio. Last two exercises. It's a right and a left, so down dog core series is next. I'll start demoing. Uh, so keep marching. Okay, we're in a down dog. Find your down dog back flat. We're gonna lift one leg. I'm gonna start with my right. We're gonna come through plank, bring it to our elbow, back, center, back, other elbow, press it all the way up and repeat. Good job, guys. Press and lift. Power through it. Keep 
got this. Okay, other side. And then we're just doing the same thing with the other leg and we're done. So low impact, I'm still sweaty. Hopefully you are too. Let me know what you thought of the workout. Let me know what exercise you loved. And if there was one you found especially challenging. I love hearing from you so I know what exercises you want to see again in future workouts. Other side. Okay, guys. Down dog. Lift. Same side. Center. Opposite side. Press it out. Doing great, guys. Last few seconds. Yay! <laughs> am I right in the face? <laughs> I feel like I am. Okay, guys. So. Really good job, you made it to the end. Grab some water if you need it. Um, like I said, you can repeat the workout. You'd be done now. If you are done, cool down, march in place. You can do some gentle jumping jacks. Let your heart rate return to normal, breathing return to normal, and then finish with some stretching. Otherwise, grab a drink of water, give yourself you know, enough time to feel okay, and go for it again. <laughs> Let me know what you thought, how many rounds you did, Full breakdown will be on my website, betterfitness.com. I hope to see you guys there, and I will see you soon with a new workout. Bye, guys.